This very quick video here today, I just wanted to show you how to reset, or not reset actually, how to unlock a ZTE Z700A, which is the AT&T home base. This is a device that gives you home phone and internet for your home, and it also has an ethernet plug there so you can plug it into your own router, which is why I like it. Um, also provides home phone, which is an included service for free just for getting the device. So I bought this second hand off of eBay and I'll go ahead and mention that whenever I got it, um, this connection information that's on the back here is not accurate. Uh, the cu the cu customer, no, the person who owned it before uh, changed the name and the password and I couldn't get into it. So I just took a pen and I held the reset button, which is underneath the device here for about 30 seconds and, um, and we're in. So uh, it's very simple. All you got to do is come over here to the AT&T device unlock portal, which is a free service that AT&T offers. That looks really weird. <laughs> this looks like it's going up. Okay, this is a new, this is the first time I've used this camera, so it might just be some sort of wide angle or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so this is the unlock portal over at at and and you can go here to request an unlock. All you got to do is give them the IMEI number, which is on the bottom of the device. And um, so once you get the unlock code, they'll just email it to you. It's pretty simple. There's nothing you have to do special. Um, you do need a SIM card, which I don't know if you can see that, but that is my Verizon SIM card. Uh, you need a SIM card that is not at and otherwise you'll never get to this screen, which is right here and all it says is the network is locked the device network is locked uh, so all you got to do is real simple put the code that they give you and hit apply and you're done you've unlocked the device it took five seconds and now you can get a ton more on ebay <laughs> because uh, that's really what it's about. And there's my Verizon number as the phone number. Now I got no signal here. That's a Verizon thing. That's not this device's fault. Um, although I'm not 100% sure it supports Verizon. But that's a different story. Um, not the device's fault because I have no Verizon coverage here anyway. So this is the IP address. 192.168.01. That's all you got to go to to get to this panel. And it actually says it right here on the back of the thing you can go to att.homebase i like to use the ip because it's just quicker and um, att admin is your login and like i said if any of this has been changed just hold that reset button and you're good to go that is a very quick very simple very fast way to unlock it and this is considered a factory unlock there is no uh, no special software no jailbreaking no hacking uh, it's now unlocked, and I can sell it as an unlocked device, which I will probably do. There you go. Thanks for watching.